Hello, television viewers. My name is Nick. Thank you so much for joining me once again on my channel. Yo, yo, my name is Nicholas D, and I'm coming at you through your television screen. Today, we're putting some new makeup to a real world test. These are some products that I saw at Ulta yesterday that immediately jumped out at me. It's a new collection of products from Clinique called Clinique Fit. I was intrigued by this because it seems to be a trend that other makeup companies are also following, capitalizing on the athleisure trend by making products that are specifically designed to wear while you work out. In the age of Lululemon and the Kardashians who work out in full makeup every day, it's just become normalized. Exercise is becoming very social again. Spin classes, yoga, CrossFit, whatever it is. It makes sense that some people might wanna wear makeup at those times. So it's cool that makeup companies are now tailoring products to fit people with those lifestyle needs. I got two items at Ulta yesterday. First, I was interested in this workout makeup with broad spectrum SPF 40. I swatched a little bit on the back of my hand. It was like a very liquidy foundation that dried down matte. A very common kind of consistency for a waterproof formula. And I love the fact that it has such high SPF because I usually go running outside and I wear SPF 50. And then Paige, who works at Ulta, told me that if I picked out a second product, I would get this awesome workout bag for free and it is very high quality. It's like a rubbery, water-resistant texture as well. So I had to pick out a second product and I chose Post-Workout Neutralizing Face Powder. This is a yellow-toned, kind of like banana powder that obviously is made to counteract the redness that comes into your face in a post-workout flush. This comes with its own sponge tip applicator and a mirror in the cap, so I was very intrigued by the packaging and I tend to be pretty red or rosy in general, so I thought this might be fun to try. I watched the online ad for this Clinique Fit line and it featured a trainer on a very rainy day in New York City, literally running everywhere. This girl did not stop. She was like running after a subway train after it had already left. What is that gonna do? The full collection includes several other products that are clearly intended to be like water and sweat resistant. There's a lip and cheek stain, waterproof mascara, a matte moisturizing lotion. What else? Post-workout body and face cleansing wipes. So everything you'll need if you're a very sweaty and busy individual like me. Also, 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 Clinique Fit is not the only active makeup line I've seen lately. ELF came out with ELF Active, which looks almost identical, both in the collection of products that they offer. They even use the same sort of green and white color scheme, which somehow has become synonymous with fitness, maybe because of Gatorade? I don't know. Nike? Nike and Gatorade. I love the packaging on these, which is why I'm not cutting it open. Well, I am, but from the bottom. Here is the workout makeup. It comes in four shades. This is the shade medium, which as I said, I swatched some on the back of my hand and it was uh, a good match. Do you hear that? It's one of those foundations that has a marble in there to help mix up all of the ingredients. Usually you see that with like an alcohol-based foundation. And usually you see alcohol-based formulas in products that are meant to be waterproof. It works because they're pigments that get suspended in a volatile liquid that evaporates once you start to blend it out so that the pigments just kind of fuse onto the skin. Let's see if I'm right. Ingredients, water, alcohol. I was right. Lightweight, sweat and humidity proof foundation that keeps up with your highly active life medium coverage, natural matte finish, and wears for 12 long lasting hours. What does it mean 12 long lasting hours? 12 hours is always the same length. It's 12 hours. Some 12 hours will feel longer than others. Like when I'm talking, it probably feels like 24 hours. Protects with SPF 40, won't clog pores, or cause breakouts. Definitely I would say my main concern with wearing a foundation while working out is that it would clog pores and cause breakouts. First, we're gonna be giving this workout makeup a real life test. We're gonna try it out, see what the coverage is like, and then I'm going for a five mile run as I normally do on Saturday and Sunday mornings. It is straight up hot out and it is high noon right now. Probably gonna be like 85 degrees degrees when I get out there, so there will be no shortage of sweat or moisture happening on the face, and we can really see how this holds up. Then post-workout, we'll try out the post-workout neutralizing powder, and we can determine if the Clinique Fit line is actually true to its name. Is it fit enough to run with the big dog? Woo! 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 <laughs> If you want to see me road test even more products like this, give this video a big thumbs up. That way I know to make more. But most importantly, if you're new to my channel, I would love to have you click that subscribe button to join the Nick D crew of television viewers. You'll never miss new videos from me every week and you get to tell me what you want to see next. Who's ready to shake this up and put it on? 
brain hurts now, I'm dizzy. With the Clinique Fit Foundation, they've obviously determined what gestures you wanna use. You shake it up, put a few drops on the back of your hand, and then smooth this onto the face with your fingertips. This is also a great weekend to test foundation, incidentally, because I do have a few little red bumps forming right around the eyes and on the forehead here. So here's a look at the before, now let's try it out. Side note, how much do you love the fact that everything I'm wearing matches? Put a few drops onto the back of your hand. As you can see, it's very liquidy. Now I'm just going to smooth this on from the center of my face out with my fingertips. I shook this well before I put it on too. There we have just one light layer of foundation and I gotta say I'm already very happy with the coverage. That completely knocked out the redness even in the spots where I have some breakouts happening. Also, the texture is very skin-like. Because it has such a liquid consistency, it just melts into the texture of the skin, making a very thin layer of pigment. So you really can't see that there's any product on at all. As for the finish, I would absolutely call this natural matte, as in it catches the light very naturally around the contours of the face. That being said, I do notice already a little pronunciation of the enlarged pores around my nose and on my cheeks. But I'm gonna put on another thin layer of the foundation just to get the maximum coverage out of it and see what that looks like. Despite the presence of alcohol in this formula, you really can't smell it when you're applying it. L'Oreal had this nude makeup line once and it was like this and it just was very caustic when you applied it. This one, just really kind of the faint smell of sunscreen, which I happen to like that smell. It reminds me of being at the beach. Overall, I'm happy with how this foundation has covered up any redness or breakouts that I have. You can barely tell that I'm wearing anything. If I were wearing this just to go out and not be exercising, I would probably powder it just a little bit because it is a little dewy, but I would probably powder almost any liquid foundation that I put on my face, so that's to be expected. The coverage is just enough to help reduce any redness without looking like, oh, what is he covering up under there? As with any foundation, the real test comes in seeing how it lasts throughout the day. And this one is particularly challenging because I'm gonna go for five mile run with it. You opened this door, Clinique. We'll check back in right after to see how we look. I think it does look pretty good out in the daylight, don't you? It's definitely not looking any more makeup-y outside than it did inside. I'm staring directly into the sun. I'm ready to get fit, ready to get fit, ready to get fit, ready to get fit. I am now gonna go for my run and I will meet you guys right back here afterwards. We made it guys, five miles and it's hot out. Did I tell you that I sweat a lot? But let's take a look at how the makeup is holding up. Despite my intense sweating, it looks like it's holding up pretty well. What do you guys think? You can see that I'm completely saturated with sweat. Let's take a look at those areas where I built up the coverage. Let's get inside and take a closer look. P.S. That was 5.16 miles. Whoa. <laughs> Let me take a quick moment to hydrate my cells. Ugh. Now we can talk. Woo! First of all, that was an excellent run. At one point I was like, this is not even gonna be a fair test because I'm sweating so much. I am still slick with sweat, but I can see underneath the skin itself is still covered up. There's maybe a little bit of redness peeking through and some slight patchiness. Nothing near what you would expect with a traditional foundation that's not specifically designed to be sweat resistant. Those marks on my forehead are still really well covered. Maybe just a hint of paint coming through. I see a little bit of pigment pooling right here under the eyes and I think that's because sweat usually just pours down into this area but it's almost like unnoticeable at first like when I first look into the mirror I just look like I'm glistening with sweat if I really closely inspect my skin I guess I can tell that there's a little bit less of a uniform application than when I freshly put it on but overall I would say that this holds up very well especially if you just need to wear it for like one workout one class you're gonna look great at the end of it I'm gonna see what happens when I take a tissue and just blot off some of that excess moisture Wow Almost zero product came off onto the tissue. That's impressive. The makeup really does look quite acceptable for me. It doesn't look nearly like I just ran five miles in 90 degree heat. But say I'm a fitness instructor who has to work out and then dry off and get ready to go do something else right away with no hope of showering. I'm curious to know if the other product from the Clinique Fit line will help even further refresh this makeup so that I could continue on with my day if I say I had to go into work or something after this. So let's try out the Clinique Fit post workout neutralizing face powder. Once again, this has a mirrored cap, so it's kind of easy to like apply it on the go. The instructions say remove cap, twist base to unlock, and then it just says dab onto the face with the sponge tip applicator, but where's the product? Do I shake it out? 
Oh, yep, there we go. It took a few shakes, but you can see when I tapped it down, the powder starts to come out of what looks like three holes in the sponge tip there. I guess that's a convenient applicator. I mean, it doesn't really give me much control as to the amount of product that will come out of this sponge. Like, I feel like I have to use gravity to shake it out onto my face. <laughs> Let's just do as they say and press it on. I can definitely see they did not hold back on the yellow pigments in here that are designed to neutralize red tones. Because when I look at my face right now, it's actually coming across a little bit orange. Maybe just like this formula is slightly too yellow for my face. This is actually skewing a little too far from neutral. I liked the way this foundation looked better before I powdered it down. The powder itself is nice. It's very soft. I'm just not crazy crazy about the color of it. Although, I would definitely be interested to try the post-workout neutralizing face powder just on bare skin alone one day before work. So I will give that a try and report back to you at some future Instagram stories. So make sure you're following me on Instagram if you want to know more about how I like this later on But as for the Clinique fit line, I'm overall very happy with everything I mean, I've never seen a foundation hold up this well to sweat and sun I love the fact that it has such high SPF So if I was shooting outside or blogging or vlogging, this is what I would be wearing It says this powder can also be worn under foundation So I'd be interested to try that as well Let me know if you'd like to see that All in all, I am very happy with my new Clinique items And I would be interested in adding some more Clinique Fit products to this workout bag. I'm intrigued by the lip and cheek tint as well as the matte moisturizer. So let me know if you'd like me to pick up those and try them out here and put them to the sweat test as well. Fitness is in the air. What are your secrets for keeping your makeup on while working out? Let me know in the comments below and give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it. That helps me by making it more visible so that others can see it as well. But most importantly, if you're new to this channel, I would love to have you click that subscribe button so you never miss new videos from me every week. You'll also join the crew of television viewers that help me put these videos together and you'll forever hold a very special place in my heart when you join the Nick D family. Thank you guys so much for watching and for sweating profusely with me today. You guys are all the greatest. I'll see you next time.